We now have Senator Black and Senator Higgins. I understand you're sharing time. We're sharing time. Uh, it's two and a half minutes each. So i will probably call you both when it's, you're into two minutes just to give you an indication. Thank Senator you. Black. Thank you. Thank you. You're very welcome, Minister, to the Chamber. And um, I am aware that you've had a crazy week um, and it's been very, very busy for you. But I suppose we all have to keep in mind... Microphone is just not carrying. Uh, we all have to keep in mind, you know, um, what Sergeant Morris McCabe and his family have gone through. And I just shudder to think the trauma that has come out for them in particular and the children has been horrendous. Um, the treatment of Sergeant Morris McCabe seems to be of great concern at the moment um, because it might lead to the collapse of the government or the loss of office by some politicians, whereas the real issue here is the effect the whole issue has had on the lives of uh, Morris McCabe, an innocent man, his wife and family. So I suppose I'd like to ask the Minister if, if, if she believes there was collusion between some people in the Garda Shikana and some people in Tusla. It's very worrying that despite no evidence being produced of any child abuse that both Garda Sergeant Morris McCabe and now Garda Keith Harrison were referred to Tusla as being a danger to their children. The questioning of Garda Harrison's wife for eight hours and her being told if she didn't sign a statement that she would put her children in danger reminds me of the case of Joanna Hayes and Kerry and her shameful treatment during interrogation by the Garda. This does irreparable damage to the reputation of the Gardaí as a whole. I think it is incumbent on the Minister to ensure that the individuals responsible for these actions are held accountable. An, in, an investigation needs to be held into any other referral from the Gardaí Shikana to Tusla about other Garda whistleblowers, as there is a danger that the tactic was used in other cases. The reputational damage done to both the Garda Shikana and Tusla by these revelations can only be put right if the people responsible are held fully accountable. If there is not transparency in the handling of these matters, then two agencies of the state that are essential for the protection of children will have been compromised, and I am sure that no one in the Oireachtas wants this. Um, 